Hello everyone, it's me Uncle John. Today I'm going to read S3 3033, The Best Teacher in the World by Bernice Chardiot and Grace Macaron. Good morning, class. Miss Darcy said, Who would like to take this note to Mrs. Walker? Everyone wanted to go. Miss Darcy was the best teacher in the whole world. She was very pretty and she was very smart. Martin Kafka waved his pencil case in the air. Everything came out. Brenda Wigger nearly fell off a chair. I'll go, she said. Uh, Bunny Rabisi raised her hand as high as she could. She wiggled her fingers. Ooh, 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 pick me, please. Bunny will go this time, said Miss Darcy. Bunny popped up from her seat. She stood up straight and tall as she passed Brenda. Bunny felt a little kick on her ankle, but she was too happy to care. Miss Darcy gave Bunny the note. It was on a yellow piece of paper. The paper was folded in half, but it was not sealed. Bunny walked across the room. She heard a whisper. Have a carrot, Bunny Rabbit. Bunny knew it was Raymond. He always made fun of her name. Sometimes it made her cry. But not now. Bunny was happy and proud. She was taking a note to Mrs. Walker. She held her head up high and wore a big smile on her face as she left the room. Bunny closed the door behind her. Behind her. Then a smile went away. Where was Mrs. Walker's classroom? Bunny did not, did not know. Should she go back and ask? No, she couldn't. The others would laugh. Miss Darcy would think she was a dummy. Bunny would just have to try herself. She started to walk down the hall. Mr. Sherman's class was next door. Bunny already knew that. Mr. Sherman's class and Miss Darcy's class got together for recess. Miss Stone's class was across the hall. Bunny looked inside. Everyone was copying from the chalkboard. The next door was closed. Maybe it was Mrs. Walker's room. Bunny opened the door. She hoped no one would notice her. But everyone did. The teacher was Mrs. Kyle. May I help you? She asked. The whole class watched. Bunny's face turned red. Quickly, she closed the door. Bunny passed, passed room after room. She did not see Mrs. Walker. Many of the doors were closed, but she would not open them. Not after she had made the mistake in front of Mrs. Kyle's class. Bunny walked up and down the hall twice. She looked in the library. She looked in the auditorium. There was no sign of Mrs. Walker's class. At last, she went back to her own classroom. The back door was open. Bunny waited outside, when no one could see her. Mrs. Darcy was reading about the ugly duckling that turned into a swan. It was Bunny's favorite story. Bunny wished she were inside. She wished someone else had taken the note to Mrs. Walker. Bunny wanted to cry. By now, the yellow paper was wrinkled. What did it say? Bunny knew she should not live, but she had to. Bunny read, Nancy, meet me at Pine Street at 4 o'clock, Joyce. Bunny put the note in her pocket and walked back into the room. Did Mrs. Walker say anything? Miss Darcy asked. Bunny lied. She said, okay. Miss Darcy smiled. Thank you, Bunny.
Bunny felt bad all afternoon. She kept thinking about her fib. She wanted to tell Miss Darcy the truth, but she didn't want Miss Darcy to think she was a dummy. And now a liar too. Finally, the bell rang. It was time to go home. It was Bunny's last chance to tell the truth. But the words would not come out. That night, Bunny could not sleep. She thought about Miss Darcy. Was she still waiting for Mrs. Walker on Pine Street? Bunny didn't want to go to school the next day. Your eyes look a bit red, said her mom, so Bunny stayed home. Mom took the day off from work. They played checkers and cards and candy bell. It should have been fun, but it wasn't. Bunny felt like a, fe a fever and a fake. Tomorrow should have to go to school. The next morning, Bunny looked for Miss Darcy. In the schoolyard, I have to tell you something, said Bunny. I didn't give a note to Mrs. Walker, I know, said Miss Darcy. I saw her in the parking lot after school, but you were very brave to tell me. Miss Darcy gave Bunny a hug. Just pros promise me one thing, she said. Never be afraid to ask a question when there's something you don't know, all right? Yes, said Bunny, and she hugged Miss Darcy back. Miss Darcy was the best teacher in the whole world. She was very pretty and very, very smart. The end.